often see, take a look, it's time-lapse sequence of a tornado as it actually forms in Goshen, Wyoming, caught on tape by the Weather Channel. Their forecasters are traveling with scientists involved in the Vortex 2 project, the largest tornado study ever attempted. Severe thunderstorms could roll across the nation's midsection today, including some possible twisters. Sunday, there were reports of five tornadoes near the Denver, Colorado area, including one that caused significant damage at a shopping mall. And on Friday in Wyoming, the Weather Channel was on hand to shoot some dramatic video as a tornado actually formed. Weather Channel meteorologist Mike Bettis was there to capture it all. Now he's in Topeka, Kansas. Mike, uh, we're all glad to have you here. And you have described this as the biggest day of your life, a dream come true? <laughs> um, it was a thrill. There is no question about this. This was remarkable to actually be there, alive with our cameras rolling, to document the complete life cycle of a tornado. We're out there in remote uh, southeastern Wyoming watching a supercell thunderstorm <laughs> with the Vortex 2 project, which is this massive tornado research project trying to understand more about tornadoes. We were there in the right position. Tornado form came right towards us. And really, one of the more thrilling moments of the entire life cycle of that tornado, which was on the ground for about 25 minutes, was actually watching it go from a vertical tornado to a horizontally tilted tornado and for the first time we were able to see inside a tornado from the top down that to me was really the most amazing thing i've ever seen and to my knowledge the first time that's ever been documented on camera before well, mike can i just have you explain this so in other words this thing is standing upright and then all of a sudden it tilts itself toward you so you can actually look down into the funnel that is correct. The, the, the funnel that was on the ground was away from us, and then the top of the funnel actually tilted towards us. And so if, if, instead of seeing the vertical spin like this, it actually started spinning like this and came right towards us. And we were actually there with our cameras shooting directly into it. You could almost see a funnel inside a funnel. And I almost liken it to a wide mouth bass opening up and trying to eat you. That's what it looked like to me. We weren't that close to it. It was roughly about two miles from us, but nonetheless, it was one of the most thrilling things uh, that I've ever seen. We got a little bit nervous once it got close, but at that point, uh, my jaw just kind of hit the floor because I'd never in my life seen anything like that before. Mike, quickly, what, what for viewers who don't know this and aren't, haven't been watching the Weather Channel, but will be now, tell us what Vortex 2 is. Yeah, this is a huge uh, field research project for tornadoes. A vortex stands for the verification of the origin of tornado experiment two. And what they're trying to do, this large armada of Doppler radars like the one you see behind me here, and 100 researchers right here trying to intercept tornadoes, trying to understand where and why they form. The data that they collected on Friday, the most documented uh, tornado in history now, is going to go a long way in helping them forecast tornadoes out. What may be really amazing out of all this is, forecasters may be able to eventually determine which thunderstorm develops a tornado before it even right. forms. The ultimate goal, obviously, is to help save people's lives. Mm -hmm. All right, Mike, thanks. We don't know where the munchkins were during all this. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the folks at the Weather Channel set out on a huge project, first of its kind. It's called Vortex 2. It's designed to get researchers closer to tornadoes and learn more about their formation than anyone ever has before. Well, the new tornado season is already underway, off to a vigorous start, and this project has already produced some astounding results, about as close as you can get. Mike Bettis of the Weather Channel has been traveling right through the heart of tornado country with Vortex 2. Tonight finds him in Saline County, Kansas. Mike, a lot of us have been watching this with great interest. Yes, good evening to you, Brian. A lot of interest, that is for sure. You know, right here in the heart of Tornado Alley, they are no strangers to severe weather. And that is why 100 government-funded tornado researchers have called the Great Plains their laboratory for the past month. That is unbelievable. Look at that. You can look right into the top of it. They are awe-inspiring and pack devastating power. But tornadoes remain in large part a mystery. There we go. We've got a tornado. Oh, let's get close, guys. And like any force of nature, twisters motivate their own unique brand of followers. The intensity can be deadly. On average, these powerful storms are responsible for 70 deaths a year and 1,500 injuries and cause a billion dollars worth of damage. So now there is Vortex 2. Nearly 100 scientists, 40 research vehicles, and 10 mobile Dopplers. On the road for five straight weeks, it all adds up to Vortex 2, the most ambitious study of tornadoes ever. The scientists involved in Vortex 2 hope to help understand these storms. 
Scientists like Dr. Lou Wicker of the National Severe Storms Laboratory. Pretty amazing, and it's about the third time I can see I've seen something like that in 22, 25 years. I'm just so proud to be part of it, really. The hours are long, the work is hard, and hard on the equipment. We Not good. Great Not data. Though. Great data, but now we're out for the day. Yeah. Probably out for tomorrow, too. We've got yeah, vehicle damage and instrument damage. But before that, we got, we got excellent data. Very, very well sampled. Already, the Vortex 2 researchers have been chasing storms through nine states. And Vortex 2 will continue the chase through the end of the week and then return again next spring at a cost of nearly $12 million. The data that they've collected is invaluable and will study for years to come. And Brian, the ultimate goal here is to ultimately solve the mystery of tornadoes. All right, Mike, we know you love it. You be careful out there. Nonetheless, same to members of your team. Mike Bettis with the Weather Channel with us tonight from Kansas.